So, hello everybody. You know, I grow lots of edible things. Raised chickens, raised ducks, you know, everything. And I try to, of course, keep feed bills and those such expenses as low as possible, especially today. And if I can keep the system as closed as can be, you know, feeding, fertilizing, and everything right off this property, it really helps, you know. And one of the things I've been looking into is either raising mealworms or soldier fly larvae, crickets. And the thing with those are, if you're raising generally mealworms, superworms, or crickets, you're bringing food in, you know, especially if you have as many chickens as I have, as many ducks as I have, which are raised for meat and eggs and everything. Why raise mealworms or a feeder insect on food when you could just feed that food right to your animals directly, right? Never made any sense to me. So, ideally, you would be raising, these happen to be mealworm beetles, darkling beetles. Ideally, there would be something off of my property that I could use that is a scrap that is not going to help the chickens or anything much, but I can feed it to, say, mealworms, for instance, and get more out of it. Now, that's where this comes in. This right here is actually cassava meal, which is well, from my own homegrown cassava, you know, yucca, cassava plants. You dig up the roots, you peel them, you grind them in a blender or whatever. You separate out the watery starch from the meal here, which right here is the starch that is all dry. And I'll run that through a blender or a sieve, and I will have my own homegrown cassava starch. That's pure starch right there. It just separated out the other day, so it's a little chunky from drying. But that is great for thickening soups or making your own Brazilian cheese bread or little bobas to make yourself. You know, cassava is super productive, super easy to grow. And very easy to process. And uh, yeah, so here's one of the byproducts that I don't really use. I use the starch for everything. But the cassava meal here is not something I generally use. Just because, you know, I get what I want out of it. So, the question is, can I raise mealworm on that extra cassava meal? Look at online, there's basically zero information on this, but I don't see why not. But either way, I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes. So, I bought me some mealworms a few weeks ago, and as you can see, they pupated into darkling beetles here. There they all are beautiful little darkling beetles. I'm pretty sure they all pupated on me. And they all turned into beetles. Maybe only lost a couple. But either way, I'm going to take these guys here, which they were just in some shavings, and we're going to transfer them to the cassava meal here and see if they will lay eggs in this and if those eggs will hatch in the resulting larvae i.e. mealworms, will thrive and grow and eat a, and essentially a waste product from my own property. And basically, you get pound for pound. If you have a pound of cassava root, you peel it, you know, you end up losing maybe two ounces of peel. So you get about 14 ounces of peel. You grind it, you strain it out. You get about three ounces of starch. So you end up, give or take, about ten ounces of this cassava meal. Which we will find out if I can raise mealworms on it. Obviously it's very dry. It's powdery kind of. 
but just like with wheat bran or whatever you're feeding mealworms normally, you'd put some kind of potato or carrot in there for them to get their moisture. So guys, yeah, you want to close that loop as best you can, especially with prices today, animal feed going through the roof. Why not find ways to cut your cost and make something out of it? I'll keep you up to date, and we'll follow our little experiment if I can raise mealworms on a home-processed cassava meal. Very interesting. First two little beetles. Look at them. See how it works out. See you later, guys. Grow food. Produce food. You know, sometimes you gotta feed your beetles, too, and then feed them your chickens. So they give you some nice, tasty eggs, right? Because I don't know about you, but I would rather eat the chickens and their eggs than eat mealworms or actual worms or maggots for that matter. So, you know, no thank you guys. You want to eat bugs? Power to you. I particularly don't want to eat bugs and never will. So, love you. See you later. Keep checking back and I will keep you updated on these guys. See how they do.